Oh, hey, Goulash here, and welcome to another entry of The Gulag. I'm back with another unboxing video, this time of a Fright Crate from Loot Crate. Toon Goulash here with a correction. The box is actually called a Loot Fright. I incorrectly call it a Fright Crate throughout this video. It's important that I make the distinction because there is an actual other subscription box company called Fright Crate. No matter what I say in the video, the thing I am unboxing is a Loot Fright, not a Fright Crate. Now, if you're wondering when Goosebumps Goose Days will be returning, don't worry, it'll be back soon. Good things come to those who wait. Also bad things, but uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that. Anyway, as I was saying, gonna be unboxing this Fright Crate, a totally new subscription box to the channel. Never unboxed one of these before, so I'm curious what's gonna be inside it. Full disclosure, this company sent this for free, but not only that, they also included a little promo code that you folks can use on their website to order your own Fright Crate to get 15% off your order. It's Dr. Wolfie left 15. So use that and you'll get a little discount. But just so you know, even though they sent this for free and they gave us a promo code, this is not a sponsored video. They are not paying for this. This is not paid endorsement. I'm still going to be totally candid about what is inside this box. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, another thing I need to make clear about this box is that this is a promo box. It apparently contains the best of past boxes. So it's mostly just an example sent to YouTubers to show off to folks like you about stuff you could get in a box. But, you know, this is stuff that has been in previous boxes, just not together before. So this is not necessarily an accurate uh, depiction of what you can get on average in a box. Just want to let you guys know that ahead of time just so there isn't any uh, confusion because that's definitely key. Okay, gonna be unboxing this thing now and I do so with my trusty Dag Ferch unboxing knife. Never unbox a single thing without it. It has been blessed with Dag Ferch's signature. It's just, it means so much to me. Well, now let's open this thing up and they make it really easy. They only have one I only have this one sort of uh, bit of tape right there with the logo on it, and that's it. And then, it opens up like this. Neat! Now, this is a Leatherface plush figure. I'm gonna take it out of the... It just flew when I opened it up from the bag. It just wanted to get out of there. Just wanted to fly away, Leatherface. Uh, just a nice, sort of cute, chibi design. No complaints. I guess this is the shirt. Yeah, this is the shirt. It looks like a cool design. Let's see what it is. It's an official Halloween 2 shirt. It even has like the little logo and the collar. And yeah, it's like, it's very clearly kind of based on the original film's poster but with like a skull inside the jack-o'-lantern. Halloween 2 didn't get that kind of poster, so it's nice to see that sort of take with uh, this, this shirt. I have to point something out here I didn't notice before. Even though I asked for a medium-sized shirt, Loot Fright sent me an extra small shirt for some reason. What do they think I am, a preteen girl? Disappointing because the shirt looks cool. Okay, the next thing we got in this box, let me open it up. It's a Mad Balls, but it's a Leatherface style one. So we got two Leatherface things, which is pretty cool. And it's a cool looking uh, ball. I don't know if it can uh, bounce. Let me. It bounced a little bit. I don't think it's really meant for that. I think it's just meant to look cool. But it's actually kind of has this cool design where it reminds me of some of the merchandise that Goosebumps stuff would have, where it has like, like a sledgehammer is in the back of his head and he has this green ooze coming out of him, like it's like Goosebumps slime. Very strange, but also really cool. Now let's open up this thing. In your travels, be careful not to cross paths with the Baba Yaga, a supernatural witch of Slavic folklore. Okay, what is this? What is this exactly? Let me see what this thing is. Okay, on first impression, I thought it was like an afro pick or something. I don't know what this thing is, but it looks cool. It has like a cool witch design. Oh, and it's even got the chicken legs like coming down on the bottom. Okay, so this is a phone stand, uh, apparently. Let's open it up. Okay, that's pretty neat. Let's see what this is. So this is apparently a phone stand. So yeah, it's a phone stand. It holds up the phone like this and it's pretty cool. It's, it's basically Dracula fangs, which is pretty neat. Now, uh, this is pretty neat. Okay, so this is an HP Lovecraft sort of tote bag. I don't have much use for a tote bag, but if I did, I would definitely use this one, I guess. Now, this is 
pretty neat. It's an Evil Dead 2 thing. I'm guessing it looks kind of like a Funko Pop. I, at first I thought it was just like an, the art print of that thing on the box. Like you just got this art print. But no, it's like an actual figure and it comes with a stand. Take out Ash. I don't know why he looks so sad. Oh shoot, it's like a full diorama kind of situation. Yeah, oh shoot. Let's assemble this thing. Oh wait, no, he goes like this. It even has the, uh, even has the cellar door that just pops in right here. Here, I think. It looks pretty cool. I don't know why he looks so distressed. I, I don't know why, like, I don't know. I feel like they could have made Ash look a little cooler. Other than that, it's a pretty cool figure. I've never actually seen Ash merchandise that makes him look kind of sad or scared. That's a little, that's a little strange. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, this is cool. Let me show you the packaging. Well, it's an Overlook Hotel themed journal. This is the journal. It's pretty cool. It actually gives me Bioshock vibes too, so it's got that going for it. But it's nice. It's a nice looking journal, and it's nice and subtle. It looks like, honestly, a real world hotel ledger. So it's pretty cool. Okay, and there's one last thing in this box. Save the best for last. No, probably not. No, probably not the best for last, but it's still pretty cool. It's a Crypt TV pin of, I guess, a Mordeo. I don't know what the fuck that, I, I, I've never seen Crypt TV. I don't know what that is. It's a neat looking pin, regardless of what it is. Sort of hard to tell with this, with this lighting. It's like this nice red sort of antler monster reindeer looking thing, this demonic reindeer. Now, before I go, I gotta make this clear that even though all this stuff is really cool, what they sent is basically a best of. Like, some of the best items from past boxes they sent to YouTubers like me to unbox. So this isn't really necessarily an accurate portrayal of what they usually contain, uh, fright crates. This is just a promotional thing. So I don't know what you're gonna get in this month's fright crate box, honestly. I guess if you're curious what you'll get, you can try it out. Again, the code is Wolfula15. Maybe if you're curious, if you like the stuff that I showed off, hopefully it is still an accurate portrayal of, uh, you know, the service at large. But yeah, uh, let me know what you folks uh, thought of the box itself. Will you potentially be subscribing to Fright Crate? And if you are currently a subscriber to Fright Crate or subscribed in the past, share your experiences in the comments below. Feel free just to let folks know. Definitely, if you have experience with Fright Crate in the past, share it down below. Feel free. Also, if you like this video, like it. And if you want more videos, subscribe and click the bell icon to keep track of future uploads and streams. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter as well, twitter.com slash thegulag. That's where I uh, call my home on, on Twitter, so definitely follow me if you want to keep up with me. Anyway, I've been Gulag. See you all next time, you fucking weirdos. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, like it. And if you loved it, subscribe for more and click the bell icon to find out when my latest vids and streams go live. Want a double dose of Dr. Wolfula? Donate to my Patreon and you'll get bonus content for supporting the channel, including exclusive movie streams and commentaries weekly. I'd like to give a special thanks to my true Wolfulite supporters on Patreon and my channel memberships for their pledges. Their support helps keep the channel going after all these years. Thank you, guys. Alrighty, Dr. Wolfula signing out. See you all next time.